Hello, welcome back to the Games Kingdom. My name's Carl King and today we're going to be doing the second video for Sarissa Precision's Zone Theta MDF kits. So if you watched my first video you will see in there that I did some where they were flat packed, where they were made up and just bare MDF and somewhere I had just put um, the undercoat of white on them. And as you can see today, uh, I've got them to that sort of stage where um, I'm going to be leaving them as is for the time being um, and then playing a few games and seeing whether I need to sort of add anything in, put some more colours on them. But at the minute, um, this is what I'm going with, a sort of white and orange um, colour scheme um, to match up with some existing buildings that I've got that are painted in the same colours. So let's have a quick look through at what we have. So uh, as I said before this is part two so um, what we've got here are two of the larger rooms and then we've got some smaller rooms as well. I'll just pop these all off here like so. They are a bit tight, which is good because it stops them moving about when you're transporting as well as playing. And then we've also got a couple of corridors. So, as you can see, what I've done in there, um, I've sort of used for the floor some hexagon wallpaper. So, you can see here, and so like that um, and then for the walls I've used the same pattern of wallpaper but obviously different colour. So I've gone with the same scheme in all of the room stroke corridors to give that uniformity look um, just to sort of have it all blend in as part of the same area stroke complex and uh, yeah, quite pleased with how these have come out to be honest. Um, as you can see they have these little tags on at the top um, to sort of make those uh, roof um, pieces sort of fit nice and snug so I've just sort of done those in the same colour as the actual rooftop so they don't sort of stick out too much uh, if they were just painted white. So yeah it didn't take um, uh, an awful lot of time to uh, finish them off to be honest so yeah sort of painted up um, the roofs gave them gave them a spray or two um, of um, orange spray and then I masking taped off the sides and the end pieces and then sprayed the striped side panels so all of the center stripes on these are done with the same uh, as the roofs and then we've got things like the vents and things and the doors um, they're done just outlined in uh, sort of a, a black so yeah, as I say, all in all, these have come out quite nicely and um, I'm going to be using these for things like Stargrave, 5 Parsecs from Home and all, hopefully um, Alien RPG games so um, we can sort of get this onto the table where um, people can actually sort of mill around in the buildings and things and um, do their RPG gaming actually inside this rather than just sort of imagination and uh, sort of pen and paper job. So um, we've got a few bits of scenery so again you know you can put these into uh, some of the rooms when you're when you're done as it were so you know and then you've got little sort of things like uh, cabinets, gun racks so you know these things can um, go up against walls and things you can even affix them to the walls if you like so we've got some sort of cabinets for um, equipment and clothing and say some uh, desks and things so these can all go into the rooms then you've got some computer terminals that you can sort of dot around the complex I've got a lot more uh, scenery than this to go in but uh, you can sort of get the gist of where these things uh, can go into these rooms so as I said you've got uh, the rooms here and then you put your your scenery in and then I've also got 
as I showed you on the uh, previous video, the room divider, so you can put those in uh, into things like this, and uh, you can turn one large room into two smaller rooms if you so wish, and use some of these as doors and whatever, um, and then on one of the others here, again we've got some room dividers, you know, just sort of giving you that idea of sort of the rooms being split up and uh, you can use them to have more areas for um, sort of distributing your um, miniatures in and you know whilst you're playing the game so yes as I say very pleased with how these have uh, how these have turned out and uh, yeah so if you're interested in something like this then uh, head over to the uh, Sarissa Precision website which I believe is www.sarissaprecision.co.uk or .com um, have a look online for that um, they are attending UK Games Expo as well this year so if you're going there you'll be able to see them there and pick up not only hopefully these kits uh, which I might pick one or two more up of these might get some more of these corridors um, but they uh, hopefully will be taking some of their other ranges there as well but yeah check them out online and then if you need anything um, and you're going there you can obviously pre-order and get them collected but they do an excellent uh, online service um, which is how I got these these were sent to me and they came within just a few days everything's cut to order um, but yeah it only took sort of like two or three days from uh, placing and paying for the order for them to arrive so there you go, uh, this is the Zone Theta uh, range from Sarissa Precision and um, yeah we've got some nice kits to uh, game on our gaming mats and gaming tables and um, get a few battles in. So until again we do another one of these, it's bye for now.